Hello YouTube, my name is Isabella and today we're going to be doing round four of my TBR Chronicles. March didn't go to plan. Um, I kind of had a feeling only a few weeks in that I wasn't quite going to be able to finish uh, doing so. And because I'm a bad booktuber, I forgot to grab all the books that I have read. I managed to read everything except for one book, which is My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. I still want to read this. Maybe I'll try and get it on this month's TBR, but it was Women's History Month and it was kind of like a bad one. Stuff happening all over the place that was just so terrible to women. Sarah Everard in the UK the Asian women murdered in the States. It was rough and there was a lot of discussions on Twitter that are important but also kind of upsetting and triggering. I had the opportunity to listen to this audiobook, like I had the time to do it but I honestly just gave myself the space and didn't force myself to do it because I didn't want to put myself in an already terrible or a worse mood. That just means it's time for me to pick my uh, first punishment. It is my first time screwing up my TBR so I wasn't super mad at it and I planned these so long ago that I don't remember exactly what's in here so this is going to be interesting there's just one prompt in here out of maybe 10 that I don't want and if I get it you might see me weep so here it is read every morning Ooh. Am I glad that this isn't like a punishment for more spins or something? Yes. But this is honestly going to be very, very difficult for me. I am not a morning person. I like to sleep and I like to sleep a lot. So this is going to be interesting. I'm the kind of person who will get up at the very last moment that I have to so that I will still be on time. As far as punishments go though, it's not the worst, but it's it's going to be tough. Oh, okay. So enough of that. We're going to pick a prompt to replace out of comfort zone. Oh God, okay. And go on to spin one. All right, I've updated my scorecard. This looks a lot better than last month. And on to spin number one. <coughs> Contemporary, not exactly what I want, but We'll go with it. Alrighty, so we are on the choosing portion of the video. As always, these two videos take me an incredibly long amount of time to film, put together. It's literally almost an all day, multiple hour situation and uh, it's irritating every time. But I finally made my first selection. The first spin I got, I believe, was Contemporary, and I'm choosing You Bring the Distant Near by my Tally Perkins. I have been wanting to read this book for years. I put it on a somewhat recent Five Star Predictions video, and I'm trying to close that out. This follows three generations of women going from India to London to then New York, and it, I think, follows all three of them and all of their experiences. I've seen absolutely wonderful reviews from the people that have read it. I don't, I haven't seen many reviews. Pretty short and I believe I have the, the words are fun. I believe I have access to the audiobook if I choose to go that route. I am um, actually really on board. Okay, replacing the prompt, we're gonna go for this one cover by. This one comes up a lot. All right, on to spin number two. Orange. Mom pick. Oh, that's fun. That hasn't come up yet. Yay. I have a candle burning and the next stack of books I'm going to talk about almost went into that. So that was terrifying. But my next spin was mom pick and I've never gotten one of these yet and it's one of the prompts that I've been the most excited to do like have my mom or have my dog pick and finally got one so I gave her the option of four books she could have chosen Jade City by Fonda Lee excuse me Jade War Middle Game by Shauna McGuire The Black Prism by Brent Wheat and Malice by John Gwynn I tried to pick books that had a similar sort of color scheme design 
like very simplistic covers because I didn't want like to draw focus on any one of them. I really wanted to put the house in the cerulean sea on there but I was like 99% sure she'd pick that if I put it with the other three I had chosen and the one she chose actually kind of surprised me. I'll flash a screenshot of the text there and she ended up choosing Malice by John Gwynn. I really thought when I put middle game on there I thought she would have picked that one so I'm interested to figure out why she literally just picked it but it's actually kind of ironic because I'm pretty sure I asked for this for Christmas from her so I'm not mad at her picking it I've been really excited to dive into the series I've been seeing really really positive reviews for John Gwynn and his overall worlds apparently he's phenomenal at writing like action scenes and I don't know anything about this at all other than it's a four book series so we'll see again every time I film one of these videos I think like it's the most boring thing in the process of filming it and I know things come together and are better in the edit but it uh it seems boring right now hopefully it's not but to pick the next prompt I'm gonna go with audiobook lovely choice spin number three give me something new <clears throat> Nonfiction. I need it. That's great. All right, my next spin was nonfiction. I'm glad that came on there because I do want to continue my nonfiction journey. And the one I ended up choosing was Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race by Rennie Edo Lodge. I actually own this book, but it's uh, downstairs and I just wanted to get on with filming, so I'm not going to grab it. The book, I think, was written in response to an article the author wrote with the same title and it went super viral of course people were really really pissed but I'm interested to read this because I think it was published in 2014 and a lot of the anti-racist literature I've seen circulating has been like really really modern and this also discusses racism in the UK which is something I'm not the most familiar with so I'd like to kind of travel there and read that. This is pretty short and again the reviews have been really good so I'm excited to give it a shot. So, so far no double spins. I wouldn't mind like one or two. Those are definitely manageable. I'd like a, a healthy balance but I, I don't know if I'm gonna get that and if April's great then I think May is going to be a disaster but we'll see. I'm gonna pick a prompt. Adaptation. I hate this prompt. I don't want it. We are on spin number four for please not adaptation audiobook pick yay the number four was audiobook and I knew what this was going to be immediately because I've been rereading a book every month and it's usually on audio and I ended up choosing Win Witch by Susan Denhard I have a review for this and Truth Witch if you were interested Truth Witch is the first book in the Witchland series. I've been rereading them to then read Blood Witch and the new book that's coming out. And I'm just excited. I really enjoyed my reread that I did in March. I liked the audiobook and the performance a lot. So I'm excited to continue on and refresh my memory because for whatever reason, I don't remember them that well. Picking again, Romance. Honestly, that sounds great right now. I've been really wanting to read romance lately, but because my TBRs have been so packed, I haven't been able to. So I would love to get this. I guess we're on spin five. <clears throat> cover by. Okay. Spin number five was cover by, which comes up quite a bit. And again, I'm going to use this for a NetGalley arc, and that's Blackwater Sister by Zen Cho. This is coming out, I think it's May 11th, and I initially was drawn to it because of the cover, so I think that works. This is a contemporary fantasy, and the author pitched it as like a stressed zillennial lesbian fighting grandmas and ghosts or something, which just sounds great. Gangsters and grandmas in 21st century Penang. So she moves back to Malaysia, which she hadn't been to or lived in since she was a child and kind of starts hearing voices in her head to find out that it's her grandmother who has a bone to pick with like a mob boss or a gang boss so this sounds phenomenal i am really excited to read it i've wanted to read something by zen cho for a while and so i'm very excited see now she's looking more dangerous and i'm not a fan um 
As expected. Next one, audiobook. I already picked that. Let's grab something different. Contemporary. I already picked that. I might need to add some more prompts or find a better way to shuffle this. Because that happens more often than I thought. Mom pick. Jesus, why does that happen? Let's go seasonal read. Spin number six, though. Fuck. Oh, I hate that prompt. Honestly, I kind of want to get rid of that prompt. I hate it, and I think it's come out three out of the four times now. Can't get anything new, though. No. Spin six was adaptation. And I honestly am ready to burn that prompt because I thought it would be fun to get occasionally a book that has been adapted or going to be adapted. So I am going to choose Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. This already has a movie that came out. A lot of people really liked it. And there's a lot of people I love that's in this movie, uh, namely Tessa Thompson. So I'm excited to watch it. And I've been kind of dragging my feet on this book because I didn't love born and like specifically because of Jeff Vandermeer's writing style so this could be dicey but honestly at this point in time I had very few books to choose so this is what we had to go with well we're definitely going to be getting some doubles adaptation look it haunts me first in a series it's been seven we got our first triple, that's okay. All right, spin number seven was yearly TBR. That just means I pick a book from my 20 books to read in 2021 list, which I'm kind of behind on. So the more this comes up, the better. I ended up choosing The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. I've been dying to read this book for so long and I just can't wait to read it. I'm ready to be destroyed. <laughs> And also, there's a book coming up in like July that I'm dying for, She Who Became the Sun, that is pitched as Mulan meets the Song of Achilles. So I wanted to have this reference to read that book. And it's just, it's high time. I've needed to read it for so long now and I'm excited but scared. Damn, I just realized that would have been my last spin, but that's okay. Get rid of some of the stuff, so. May isn't as bad. Hopefully, what is my final spin and final pick? Used book. Okay, three, two, one. Another double. Yeah, okay, sure. So, spin number eight. I got romance, which I've been really excited for and really wanting to read more of. But again, my TBRs have been so stuffed that it's just been difficult. So I'm glad I actually got a prompt and I'm going to choose Spoiler Alert by Olivia Dade. Is a fandom romance between two fan fiction writers. One of them like stars in the show that he writes about. The other one, she is a fat cosplayer and they are friends online and then they decide to go on a date IRL but they don't know they are who each other is online and it just sounds really cute apparently it's supposed to dunk on game of thrones a lot which i'm excited for and i don't know this just seems like it might be really really fun and up my alley so i'm excited and we're picking let's pick this one buzzworthy okay i really want this one to be the last spin i just want some wiggle room on a tbr for once but we'll see that was a terrible spin yellow sci-fi okay the final book i chose for my final spin spin number nine was for sci-fi yeah sci-fi was binti the night masquerade this is book three of the binti series the novella trilogy i just finished book two and would like to continue on and finish out the series that's one of my goals this year it's one of my goals pretty much every year now is to complete as many series as possible and it seemed like a good choice it's a finale it's pretty short hitting all the things i want right now because this tbr is okay sized i'm really hoping to squeeze in a couple more books that i just get to choose what i want to read and not be forced to as much as i'm liking this and it's is making me read more sometimes it would be nice just to pick up a book that I want to like right then and there but we'll see let me know down in the comments below any reading plans you have for April and as always thank you so so much for watching I really appreciate it and I'll see you again very soon bye